Welcome back to my home. Um, new BMW i7 is here. Check her out. Looking like a pretty old gal. It's got a lighter interior. What I'll do is I'll get in the car. I'll show you around it in a second. But this episode is more like a vlog, more going through some of the things that are happening, some of the things I want to happen. I need your advice on a few things. Like, for example, the 812 is sold, and I'm thinking, should I get the Dodici Cylindry, which is the 12 cylinder, uh, the new 812 replacement? I actually don't know, and I'm gonna ask your opinion on a few other things as well. For example, SF90, what I should do with, with it, whether I should give it away or, or just sell it. And also there's some stuff happening with the garage. I'm thinking about building one of those car garage thingies. Um, so that'll be going somewhere in here. But again, I need your opinion on that. Yeah, I guess this is the, the vlog episode. I, I've got a wedding coming up. So I need to take my, uh, my wedding suit to the dry cleaners. Oh, actually, before we jump in, take a look at this. So basically the BMW i7 comes with like a spoiler on it, but as you see, there is no spoiler because I took it off yesterday for the clean look. I also debadged it, so there's no badges on the back now and I think it just looks way better. So if you're wondering why we got another BMW i7 when I already had a BMW i7, the first i7, this car is a lot hotter than I thought it was going to be. The first i7 we had, um, I went to BMW and I said, look, I want a BMW i7, but I only want one with like all the options and they were like, cool, it's fine. But unfortunately, it was missing out on a few things as I press this button to open the wonderful automatic doors or auto magic doors, I like to call them. So um, it didn't, didn't want to open all the way. It didn't have the upgraded sound system, which this one does. And it didn't have these crystal buttons. And as you can tell, the interior is now lighter and brighter than it was before. And for some reason, I really love this car more than I feel like I should have. Um, and, Speaking of BMW, where's the BMW M3 Touring? Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. No, um, the M3 Touring's gone and I'm replacing it with another M car. But I'll tell you all about that once we jump in the i7 and go for a little drive. So uh, this is the new BMW i7. As you can see, we've got a lighter interior like I mentioned before. Um, the car is also more comfortable than the previous i7 that we had. And that's because this is on different tires. This is on Pirelli's, the last one. I, I can't remember what tire it was on. They make it easier to drive in terms of there's less understeers, more snappy, more decisive. So also, we have all this new crystal stuff around that you'll see in this wonderful cutaway in a second. A crystal thingamajiggy and a better sound system. So I'm happy with it. My wife's happy with it. And my son is definitely happy with it. But more importantly, I want to talk to you about some things that are happening. So I've sold the A12 super fast. Um, it's sad times, but it's gone. Um, the SF90 is being sold. I know I literally just did a video saying I love the SF90. It's an amazing car. But the other day, I wanted to use the SF90 to do grand touring stuff. Okay, it hasn't got luggage compartment, but I thought it's a comfortable car. Let me do some like touring stuff and let me take my son. Well, let me take my son to nursery. It's not really touring, but it's like a normal task that you would do. I could do it in the SVJ. I could do it in the GT3 RS. For some reason, the SF90 does not support baby seats. Like it supports like child seats, but you could not turn off the airbag in that car. I read through the manual, I looked online, apparently it's just not something that SF90 supports, which is a damn shame. And I thought it would be a good car to use to run around. I can take my son out in it because it's comfortable, has the hybrid element as well, so I can keep it quiet and then I can have it running when I need to go like on the motorway and stuff. But unfortunately, uh, it's not sun compatible. So uh, the SF90 is going. However, I said sell, I'm actually looking to give it away, but I'm looking for a partner to help me give it away because in the UK, you can't just give away like cars and you run your own competition. You need to be like licensed or something. But back to the i7, I love this car and I've started to love it even more. And um, this has become my daily. We originally got it to be like the family car. I just like driving it everywhere. It's honestly one of the best like everyday cars that I've ever used. The thing that makes this car so good is that the only part that feels like an electric car is the fact that it, you need to charge it. It doesn't look like an electric car. It doesn't drive like an electric car. It just drives like a regular car, which I love. Um, and it's got so many gadgets, so many like tech features and it's quick. I'll do a launch control for you in a second. All right, quick launch control in the 760i, uh, i7. That is very intense. We were at 70, that was 60. We were at six, we were at 60 <laughs> really quickly. That was a lot faster than I thought it was gonna be. That was a strength. The car vibrates when you launch it. Did you feel it vibrating? Yeah, it was like a launch control. Like that is so like a, yeah, this car is way quicker than it should be. I might curb the wheels, am I in? Nah, so I basically, <laughs> the, the space got smaller since I um I started driving into it. I'm gonna mount the curb here. 
See, told you I'd fit. Just cut out the first one. Oh yes, the unfortunate case of the BMW M3. Well, it's not an unfortunate case. The M3 Touring is gone now, but I'm replacing it with another M car. Um, that I, I'm, oh, what the hell? <laughs> I'm replacing it with another M car. I, I want your suggestions of which M car you think that I should get. I just thought it would be cool to just try as many as possible just to get, people rave about M cars and after having the M3 Touring, I realized how good they are. So I thought, you know what, let me dip my toe in a few. Obviously the new um, BMW M5 Touring is coming out. I've got my name down for that already. So um, that's happening. But any other M cars that you guys think that I should try and jump in, please let me know. I, the M5 CS has always been something I've loved, but it's not really, if I want an M car, I still want it to do daily stuff. And I don't know, the bucket seats don't seem very daily-ish to me. And then it's gonna be a firm ride. Of course, the car's fast, it looks great, but I just don't wanna spend money on something that is gonna sit there. I wanna be able to use it, get out in it often. BMW XM is a car that, uh, very controversial, but it has tickled my fancy. I wanna know uh, what you guys think about that. I know that that car gets a lot of hate for the way it looks, but um, unpopular opinion, I don't really mind how it looks anymore. To emphasize how comfortable this car is, um, cameraman Liu is holding the camera in his hands without any stabilization or anything. See how comfortable it is? See how level it is, how balanced it is. Now, this is a clip of inside the GT3 RS. You can't really tell until you're really smashing this car around corners, but the lateral grip you have is unlike anything I've ever felt. I think that's my favorite feature on the car. Tell me that's not cool, that's very cool. Something that's also really cool is that I can drive the car. See, it's moving by itself via my phone. Yeah, I've needed um, your help with a few things. And one of them is where the channel's going. Uh, in particular, I'm trying to make sure that I'm doing what you guys want to see. So drop the suggestions below, um, whether it's more reviews, more vlog stuff, or just weird quirky things like seeing doors open and close, I can do that. Um, I can also talk about cars like reviews. I'm also starting a podcast, which is really important to me. Um, I've always wanted to do a podcast, so um, look out for that. Um, cars, I'm really, really needing help in cars right now because I don't know what's going on. As you know, the 918 is coming. So the 918 is confirmed, but once the garage is complete, the people doing my garage, they've hit some delays of the paneling that goes on the walls and that's hiding all the electronics. So I can't do anything until the paneling's done. And then hopefully you'll see the 918 in the garage. We've already picked one out. Um, it looks wonderful. It's got a Visac pack. So hopefully that's the one we still get when the uh, paneling in the garage is done, the garage is complete. Uh, also, speaking of garage, I was thinking about building, you know what, let's I'll transform to home time. I'm gonna spin, we're at home now. Oh, Jesus, now I'm actually dizzy. Um, yeah, what I was saying was, I'm thinking about building like a, um, I'm not sure what the term is for it, but it's like a outdoor garage. But I'm thinking of building like, so I would put like slabs so I can drive the car towards it, but slab, grass, slab, grass. So the car never actually touches the grass and then drive the cars there and hopefully have a case or a cover for the cars, like a glass one, and then keep some cars out there. And I was thinking of doing that instead of doing garage lifts, but I'm not actually sure. So that's another thing you guys can help me with that will be really helpful today. Um, this video is just me asking you for your advice on things. Um, there's the SF90, um, she, uh, she's going. This won't be the last time you see it. I think Carwell want to do another drag race with it against the Rualto, just to see if the Rualto can redeem itself. This car weighs 200 kg less, so it's not looking good, but we'll see anyway, they want to see. So um, a lot of people have asked for it, so why not? And if you've stayed this long, if you stay this long to the end, in the comments, I want you to write blue banana in your comment, not, not just blue banana, but just write blue banana and I'll pick someone random and I'll give you a prize if you stay to the end. But anyway, ta for now, goodbye. Welcome to this very filler episode of Tommy Auto Vlogs His Life and um, peace, I guess. <laughs>